In 1862, there was a special marriage here, and there was a little African girl called Sarah Forbes Bonetti, and she was an Af African princess, and she was captured in a, in a war <coughs> in Africa, and she was given to Queen Victoria as a gift. Well, when Sarah Forbes Bonetti got to the age of 18, she got married, and she needed permission from the, the Queen because it was the Queen's child. She adopted the child. She, was, she acted as godparent to the child. And she got married in St. Nicholas Church. And the day of the wedding, all through the week in the press in Brighton, there would talk of a royal wedding in Brighton. So on the day of her wedding, the whole town turned up. They were in the trees, they were on the walls, they were crowded. So crowded was it around the church, a Sarah Fob Benetti couldn't get into the church herself. <laughs> so the vicar of the church rang up the constable to come to clear the way. And she came in by 12 pairs of grey, grey horses. They were pulled by 12 greys, grey horses. And she was accompanied by 16 bridesmaids. Eight of them black and eight of them white. They were accompanied by white gentlemen with black ladies and black gentlemen with white ladies until the church was full. After she got married she had a child and she wanted to name the child Victoria after the Queen Victoria. So Sarah Forbes Bonetti wrote to Queen Victoria and asked if the child can be named after her. Queen Victoria in her diary commented that I'll be delighted for the child to be named after me and I'll also act as God parent to the child. When this little child called Victoria passed her music exam, Queen Victoria granted every school teacher and every child in England a day's holiday. 